You gotta, you gotta look at this economy though as being bifurcated, right? I mean, the demand side is still pretty good. Consumers are spending money. The April jobs report is due out this Friday, 8:30 a.m. When we are all hands on deck for the Friday report, economists are looking for a gain of 400,000 jobs added to the economy in the last month, with the unemployment rate down to 3.5 percent. Ryan, so I mean, assess the economy from your standpoint. Yeah, I mean, this is what I've been talking about. It's just I get inflation, inflation, inflation. Everyone knows it exists. We know it's high. And, you know, markets do price in everything, right? I mean, we're already looking at the 10-year treasury at 3%. So it really does come down to the consumer. And I think it's just going to show you again that the consumer is extremely strong. I think we're definitely going down to 3.5%. You know, we're going to create another 3 to 4 million jobs this year uh, on top of that. And, you know, if you look at job openings, that JOLTS report is going to show you another 100,000 job openings. Um, I was in the airport again last night just sitting on the tarmac because they don't have enough people to unload the planes. So, you know, I think the consumer is going to continually stay strong here. Um, and I think that's going to offset all the conversation around inflation. And then let's be real right now. I mean, if you look at the markets, they're kind of on a spectrum, right? We have disruptive technology. The NASDAQ is in a bear market down anywhere from 20 percent to 70 percent depending on the stock or depending on the index. But then you start looking at international stocks. They're down like 12% for the year. And then value stocks are only down like 2% for the year. And as Dennis just mentioned, commodities are in a raging bull market. So I think if you look at the overall markets right now, you're kind of in a garden variety correction. Um, and I'll still you know, put my stake in the ground here. Consumers are going to stay extremely strong. GDP growth is going to pick up. Inflation is going to come down a little bit this year, which is good. Um, and I think that's very, very optimistic. I'm extremely optimistic. And Dennis, your pocket square this morning looks fabulous on top of everything else. <laughs>